What's up everybody, Richard Rabel here. In this beginner's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit the CSS on your WordPress website. I'll demonstrate this on a WordPress theme called Aris, A-R-R-A-S. To follow along, you will want to have Firefox as your browser because I'm going to use a special Firefox plugin to look at some web code. Later, I'll explain in more detail why this is crucial. Also, bear in mind that if you have a theme different than Aris, the steps you need to follow will most likely be different because each WordPress theme comes with its own quirks and editing capabilities. Now, for those of you who don't know, a theme is basically a template that defines the look and feel, such as the colors and page layout, of your WordPress site. There are hundreds of themes. In fact, there are over a thousand for you to choose from, and Eris is just one of them. Here's a, just a quick list of some of the themes that, uh, that are available on WordPress.org that you can go and download for yourself. I encourage you to search the web or YouTube for video tutorials that specifically apply to your theme. Nevertheless, I hope the principles and techniques I show you here are general enough to apply to your own website. So, here is an example of the Eris theme at work. This is a beta version of my website, Dialog Junkie, and I built it using the Aris theme. I like this theme because of the slideshow here on the main page and all the thumbnail images it displays for your posts. This is great for a graphics and video intensive website, which is what I was going for. But what if I want to change the look and feel of this site? For example, what if I want to add another column or add a custom logo? Aris has a control panel that lets you do some of this. First, log into your dashboard. Once you're logged in, scroll down to the Aris menu. Note that this only displays if you have installed and activated Aris as your theme. Click Theme Options, then click Design. And under this overall design area, you've got a couple options such as selecting a three column layout. And if you want, you can come down here and customize the dimensions of your post thumbnails and sidebar widgets and your featured slideshow here. But what we want to do is edit the CSS. So for that, we go up here to the appearance menu, then click editor. And this is where you can look under the hood and change the code for your WordPress site. That's what all these templates here on the right are for. Now, this list of templates is going to be different depending on what theme you're using. For the Aris theme, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the Style Sheet template. This will bring up the theme's style sheet in the pane in the middle of the page. But what you quickly discover is that this style sheet is extremely limited. There are a bunch of notes and barely any editable styles at all. What if I want to edit the color of the text for my posts, or perhaps change the font family and font size. You can't do that from here. Fortunately, you can do this by opening the user style sheet. Scroll back all the way down to the bottom and click user.css. And as the note here says, you can use this CSS file to create or override any of the existing CSS styles used in the theme. But then your next challenge comes up. Where do you start? How do you know what CSS selectors to write and what are their existing properties and values that you now want to modify? There is actually an effective workaround, specifically Firebug. Firebug is the name of the Firefox plugin I mentioned earlier. You can get it here at getfirebug.com. With Firebug installed, you can simply hover your mouse over any specific element of your website, display the underlying CSS, copy and paste that CSS into the page here, and then edit it to your heart's content. Then just click up, Update File, and the changes will be reflected on your website. Now I know that downloading another plugin sounds like an extra pain, but Firebug is truly worth it if you're a fairly new web designer and you want to do some basic editing for your Aris theme. And it's also really cool for seeing the CSS of any website and getting ideas for your own designs. Now let's see how Firebug can help us edit the CSS for Aris. Let's say we want to modify the styles for the text in each post. First, we go to a single post, 
Next, click on the Firebug logo to display the Firebug pane. Now we hover, I'm sorry, first we gotta click this button here, and then hover the mouse over the text of the post and click once to freeze the frame over that specific element. Now down here, in this area, the underlying HTML and then over here, the underlying CSS are displayed in the Firebug panel for that element that we've highlighted. Let's highlight the CSS, copy that, go back here, and paste it within our Edit Themes page here. And now we can edit and add to the CSS styles to our heart's content with the font size. Let's say we want to make this uh, 16 pixels. Maybe we want to use Georgia as the font family. And for a color, just for kicks and giggles, let's say red. Next, we click Update File. Go back to the page, hit F5 to refresh, and the styles immediately take effect. You can follow the same process for just about any other element in the Ares theme. Just inspect the element with the Firebug plugin, get the underlying CSS, copy it into the user.css page, and edit it from there. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.